once again to Mustache Laugh Gaming. We're continuing our playthrough of Galactic Civilizations 3, and we've got quite a lot of work ahead of us. Um, just to just to kind of get our our roots put down. But that's totally okay. Um, guess we're doing a lot better than we were. And that is that is good for me. So, anywho, what were we doing? We were working on colonizing planets, ensuring that we could trade further out. So, we're getting there. Yay, we have institutional research, even though we didn't really need to sacrifice a life to get it. could just increase our research capacity. I think I like that. Maybe I'm just crazy, though. Uh, let's, let's reduce the cost of our weapons, because I'm going to, I'm going to have my good ships bristling with guns if I can help it. We're also going to put our fighters down this way. We need to consider increasing the speed of our ships, finding technologies with which we can do that. What's our economy looking like? 16 per turn, that's, that's pretty solid. Now, I think I want to try and go for like a diplomatic victory. Hopefully we'll get some good fights in there in the process, though. I'm always down for one. will almost certainly subjugate some minor races if we come across them. Ooh, Ascension Crystal, excellent. And we have two Illyrium there. Let's actually go ahead and build a Constructor. I can afford that. Now, I'm still really debating on what I want to go with. I do like beam weapons. Um, so. Hmm. Oh, what was I actually going to look at? Engineering, I think. Uh, let's go with hyperdrive specialization. That's going to increase our speed. Or, relatively speaking, it's going to increase our speed. So, we're kind of moving our fighters down this way, because that's towards the pirates, but it's not so close that they can hit us while we're still rallying. So, yeah. Okay.
That's why I'm confused. Sentry. For whatever reason, it's a uh, support ship. I think it's because I used a support ship um, body for it. It's kind of hilarious. Anywho, let's see here. Sometimes I kind of forget that I'm recording. Um, and then... So I sort of I sort of stopped talking for a second. I apologize. Um, we're getting closer to finding somebody, surely. Because um, we know, because of the trade routes, that they... Are, around here and they're around here on the on the mini map um interstellar survey hmm ship range interesting we can increase our range that would be nice ion drive would be cool but life support would also be nice to increase our range um zero grav construction still gonna take a while Let's look at colonization. That's going to take a while, but it'll be something. So. Ah! Having again. I need to look and see what this will require. No. Extreme colonization. Atmospheric cleansing. Extreme colonization. When we finish that up, we'll have a couple more worlds we can colonize, which is good. We desperately need that. Lightful ship. Uh, oh, it's a couple of fighters. Sweet. Entry there. Idle ship. Sentry. Turn. Well, let's go ahead and build a stash spreader. Or wait. Better yet. How's a Cartagia? Ship range is not so hot. Stash spreader is even less so. Go build this. Let's buy it so we can go ahead and colonize a little bit more. We'll just pick the the furthest world out we can colonize to the south. And that would be this one. There's only a nine. Let's go with excellent. I'll take excellent over good. While it may be more wise to go ahead and, and colonize these here, I just, uh, I'd rather get that extra reach so we can begin trading. Star base. I do need to consider increasing my cultural output too, however. Hmm. QRF fighter. Put it down there. Pragmatic new ideology has been unlocked for us. Unlock. And now we have all the Illyrium we could use for a long time. 
Fantastic. But basically what that does is it adds two to whatever you're mining. So I think technically if you're mining two, then you'll have four. If you're mining one, you'll have three. Um, that sort of deal. Which is awesome. Really, really awesome. Well, let's go down here and scout out those fighters. We had some pirate troubles earlier. I'd like to tend to them in relatively short order. Oh, that's what I did. The Cartagia is actually a little bit faster than the others. That's right. Okay. Class 25? Holy shnikes, Batman. Stash spreader. Well, hold on. Moves 5 versus a Cartagia has a move of 11. It'll be done soon. this another build two of them and for whatever reason I never saw that planet who knows? Uh, QRF fighter. Oh, sweet. Well, let's go ahead and send it down. Or over here. And we'll sentry that. We'll hit turn. They have no defense against our gloriousness. Alright, so let's watch this battle. Oh, that didn't go well. It's because we've got crap for hit points. Okay, well, now we know that uh, using constructor holes is not a good idea. That's fine. Um, I guess in the uh, last few minutes of this episode, we'll design a new fighter or something. Or Centauri Proto Fighter. New design. Go with small ship. Let's see here. Use that as the front. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And sort of continue that. Kind of. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. And then... Style, no. Style. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These are actually a little bit oversized, so... Then we'll 
offset inwards a bit mirrored rotate them forward and offset them there forward 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 all set down and forward then we'll pop this on we'll see if we can make it smaller and then off the proportional scaling See how that actually looks. Okay, but we want to bring it down just a tad. To where it kind of fits in the line with the ship. Okay, that looks nice. Now to equip it. Hyperdrive Plus. Put that on the back. Put some thrusters on. Or a thruster, I suppose. Pack them under here. So there. We have those. We have those. And we have. Oh, well, let's look at the ranges. 22 range. Now these need. These need environmental support. Pretty severely. Let's make them look like part of the engine assembly. Okay. That's fairly inexpensive. Uh, interceptor. All right, Cartagia transport. We're going to send it to this world. And we're going to hit turn. Going to double check our time. We're doing okay. And let's see here. Ah, we got extreme colonization. So now we can colonize these worlds. So that's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. Not gonna lie. I'm very happy about that. It's really close to a black hole, though. Not sure how I feel about that. Um. I think we're pretty, pretty set here. Wow. Three. Three antimatter. That would technically produce four apiece, so tw we have 12 antimatter just sitting right there. I think we're going to go with missiles in this playthrough. I'm using a lot of lasers right now, but uh, oh well. We need a new tech, and we'll probably Oh, cool. Um, not ready to make a decision on that just yet. However, I am ready to make a decision here. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's look into diplomacy, however. Because um, that'll help out. Yeah, we'll go with diplomacy. Anyhow, I will see you guys next time on Mustache Laugh Gaming. Be sure to drop me a like and a subscribe. And if you want to comment and let me know what you think, if you have any ideas, tips, strategy, whatever, feel free to let me know. Or if you have anything else you want to see here on the channel, I'm always open to suggestions. Anyway, it's been fun. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.